Uh, Salakia. Yeah. That was so fucking dumb. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Alright, um, so this will just be part two, continuing on. Uh, let's see. It says, what we're finding in foods, vitamins, and supplements. What I've published so far barely scratches the surface of what we are finding. Here's an overview of some of the incredibly shocking findings we have now documented. The now infamous yoga mat chemical used in Subway and their breads is also widely used across the fast food industry. McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, Arby's, and many other restaurants you think it's love to eat at. Take your families too. <laughs> well, restaurants also use the chemical um, azo carbon carbon carbonamide which is linked to cancer. Importantly, this is not a contaminant. This is an ingredient which is intentionally added to the recipe in order for the chemical to be consumed by the masses. Right. And the masses of people suck that shit up. They don't even think twice about it. Oh, well, I'm, I'm an old beast as fuck and shit. I'll just try an Atkins diet or some crazy and sh wild shit instead of just, you know, watching the things that you eat, even though, you know, we fuck whether we do or not. The whole point is to exercise it. Because if you get enough green chlorophyll in you, even though it's all contaminated and stuff, you know, you still got a better chance to just say, fuck it, start eating all kind of cheeseburgers and, you know, niggas living at, Wendy's and all these fast food joints. You know, don't do that bullshit. Like, fuck it, you know. And a lot of these hoes and niggas, especially these hoes out here, starting with the so called black woman, they let their body go like a motherfucker, man. I say that because you will see some Edomite women and even Latin women, um, and, and, and a very small nail amount of, of so called, you know, southern tribes working out. But it's a very, very, very small amount of you women. And that's why your body is in the condition that they are now. You say, fuck it, you know. You say, fuck it and just eat all this bullshit and feed your children that. And they come out and they, they have they have the same habits that you have. And the problem is, is all of these niggas out here, you know, they walk around with they, they dick in their hand. So ready to, to have sex with anything. I'm just trying to fuck something. Yeah, okay. You see this big sloppy bitch, and yes, you still have sex with her because she got a vagina. Nobody has integrity or standards now. The same thing with these women fucking these dirty ass niggas that love fucking niggas and bitches and, and whatever to such because he's cute or because his dick is big. You see what I'm saying? It's all vanity in this wicked ass place. Continuing on. There is no logical reason why chemicals... Uh, oh, okay. I'm doing it again. Let's see. Bust out a scripture real quick. Um, Jeremiah 9. 15. It says, therefore, not Jeremiah 9 and 15. Therefore, thus saith Yah by Shemiah Shai of hosts, the God of Israel. Behold, I will feed them, even this people, with wormwood and give them water of gall to drink. And I will scatter them, um, and I will scatter them also among the heathen, whom neither they nor their fathers have known. And I will send a sword on, um, up after them. Till I have consumed them. Right. And the Most High is destroying us right now. I know I read that scripture before. Um, in the first part of this video. So basically just the Spirit reiterate that. And the Most High is chasing us down with the slaughter right now. With these killing instruments. And you know these different devices that this devil has brought forth. You know. These devices, these little plans, these schemes that they have set set forth before us, 
even boldly written on the Georgia Guidestones right in front of your face. And cast it still, you know, not necessarily comprehending it because the Most High has those blockers on you. And with those blockers on, you can't really see what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> Let's see. This is Psalms 37 and 7. It says, Rest in the Lord. Uh, rest in your house by Shimei al Shai and wait. And it's a lot here. If I'm reading kind of slow, uh, the lighting here, I can't really see like I need to see. So, it's a lot here. If you like, damn, what's wrong with this dude? Which is truly an annoying thing. You know, Tadura has to stay on his job, you know. So, so lock you. Bear with me for a second, please. So it says, Psalm 37 and 7. Rest in your house by Shimei Shai and wait patiently for him. Right, so we have to wait patiently for Yahweh by Shimei Shai, you know, because you got a lot of cats that get in a hurry to run and rush to their destruction in a time of famine and plagues and, you know, different hardships. And when they run off and fall into these diverse lusts and traps and snares and shit, they don't have anybody but themselves to blame. Because we're supposed to wait on our power. If you're a Native American, Latino, a Negro, of the elect, that is. Because of him who, uh, because of him who prospers in his ways, it says, uh, rest in Yah by Shemiah and Shai and wait patiently for him. Fred not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth the wicked devices to pass. And, you know, the man bringing these wicked devices to pass is the so-called white man, the red man, Esau, Uncle Esau himself. Okay? He's bringing these different devices because the average Joe six-pack or Native American, Latino, or Negro can't do these things. You know, they it's not even on their mind to do this shit. We just try to survive, let alone do we have the access to do this type of wicked shit. And the man of sin himself is doing it, which is the so-called white men in power and rulership. All right. And those that that's why the Bible refers to them as the wicked. And these different devices that they bring about is they cover, so to speak. That's why they do it in an inadvertent way. Kind of like boiling a frog slowly. Can't recognize the temperature change. And it boils before it know before it's able to jump out of it. They don't outrightly do these things, yet they tell you of them. Okay. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And the original judges of this place were, um, are, are, is our people. And it still is. Starting with the, the hopeful elect right now. Because we bring forth these prophecies from Yahweh Bashem Shai. And we bring in judgment. That's why we are here preaching, prophesying, and teaching on the webs and on the highways and the hedges, you know. We push in this word. And the main reason we're doing this is because we know that the Lord is coming back. We have a job to do. And we wait patiently for his return. Continuing this song. Many mainstream popular vitamin brands are intentionally spiked with such high levels of copper that it, if taken... On a daily basis, they can cause mental insanity and psychosis. 
So if you're taking those one-a-day vitamins or all these different supplements and stuff, you know what I mean? I, that's another video that I will make. Y'all by Shimmy Y'all Shine Barack, how to make your own multivitamin. Because I'm telling you right now, you're going to taking these one-a-days or these already capsulized pills and shit, you're setting yourself up for failure, you know? Because you don't know what the hell is in them. A lot of them have fillers, and guess what those fillers are? These different chemicals actually built to cause insanity and psychosis and things of that nature. I mean, that's crazy, man. That's why you have these people out here doing a lot of crazy shit that people can't understand, you know? Not only are they MK Ultra slaves, and some of them also, um, you know, patsies or whatever. It's, it's literal mental insanity and psychosis all from here all around the world, all right? So if these vitamin brands are, uh, some of these um, vitamin brands are routinely advertised on television to the mainstream masses, encouraging them to consume the vitamins, many of which are manufactured by companies owned in full or part by pharmaceutical interests. A popular dietary herb designed to improve brain performance actually contains very high levels of lead in most products we tested, which were sourced from China. Now, I got some... I had gotten a couple things from China and sent it back because when it was on their way, I learned out how messed up they were. I think it was spirulina or maybe moringa, either or. I ended up sending them back, and they was already on route. But the Lord blessed me to find out about them and how uh, basically how China is. I saw a video on it in a little article, and I saw how poisonous the, and contaminated the atmosphere and that soil is. You know what I'm saying? And I sent that shit right back as soon as it got here, and I chose a different brand, all right, a more natural and local brand. Um, continuing on, lead is a toxic heavy metal that damages the brain function. In this way, people who are suffering from early dementia and Alzheimer's are actually acceler accelerated towards brain destruction via certain herbal supplements, which appear designed to deliver toxic heavy metals to the brain. It was truly shocking to me to discover that the brain herbs contain so much lead that they contribute to brain damage. Damn. You know, so that's just my um, heads up. This is from China. So far as these herbs and nutrients and shit, dodge it, okay? Because, you know, it's full of more contaminants than it is here. At the same time, we found that, that, that the very same brain herb, when grown in the U.S., contains virtually no heavy metals. This is proof that the herb does not naturally absorb heavy metals as if by magic. Interestingly, the highest levels of brain damage, damaging mental, uh, metals, are consistently found in herbs imported from China. I'm openly asking this question. Is there a covert heavy metal war between uh, w being waged against America by China? After all, poisoning the population with heavy metals is very effective is a very effective way of collapsing the nation by destroying the sanity and health of its people. That's very true. And you can see that that's very true. But well, this is all, you know, all of these are agendas that they have set in store. Different devices, even from these other nations. But it's all in the hand of the most high that's orchestrating. More on this topic later. As popular children vitamins sold in nearly every grocery store and pharmacy across America are especially formulated to be incredibly toxic by developing uh, neurology. All right, so this shit is just destroying your children's brains, man. The number of synthetic toxic chemicals added to every, uh, nearly every popular brand of children's vitamins is truly staggering, and many of them seem to be selected for their ability to target and disrupt neuropath, uh, neurological function. For a purely scientific point of view, these vitamins will honestly have to be called poison pills. Yet parents are encouraging, are encouraged to feed them to their children every single day 
as part of a my, uh, modern day health ritual. They actually, they're actually, uh, that actually causes long term harm. Right. I don't give my children that type of shit, you know. We have to be in the mind of self sufficiency, even though we can't be so readily self sufficient. You have to start making things for yourself while you can, you know. Toothpaste and laundry soap, because if you look at the dangers of the chemicals within these things, especially having a family, let alone to yourself, if you if you do the research on them and put them up and what's in it and are they harmful to you, just simple things, even bleach, you know you'll you'll get your your eyes um open, man, you know. But a lot of these people like to live that eyes wide shut type of lifestyle because. It's more convenient to act like you don't know. It says at an atomic uh, spectroscopy lab, we have confirmed trace levels of aluminum in regular uh, atmospheric air, confirming the fact that all agriculture so agricultural soils are being um, inundated with uh, inundated with aluminum, which is literally falling out of the sky right and that's those chemtrails all right they've got alum aluminum and barium oxide and silicon and different kinds of chemicals and metals and heavy metals in it all built to tear your ass up and the, the trees and the soil uh, let's see this is not merely aluminum in our laboratory air as many labs contain aluminum floors or furniture, causing an unusually high aluminum concentration in laboratory air, rather parts per billion concentration of aluminum have been measured in regular atmospheric air sampled far from any building or laboratory. The results of this phenomenon is that aluminum levels are rising in nearly all soil-grown crops from which everyday food is derived, while aluminum is far less harmful than lead, cadmium, and mercury. The repeated accumulation of aluminum is believed um, to be tied to degenerative brain disorders across the population. So, you know, one of the things that a man can do to get a lot of heavy metals out of your body, you can chew raw cilantro. By chewing raw cilantro, at least it's uh, certain juices that help your body eliminate metals. You know, just chew on it for about five minutes. Raw cilantro. You know, we find now in these days that cats find it disgusting to eat um, like garlic and Raw garlic, I mean, you know, or take a raw garlic clove and eat it, you know, or even cilantro because you, you're so used to eating these chemicals and shit that that stuff tastes nasty to you when it's necessary. Your body actually is supposed to crave it. Going, continuing on. As natural news readers already know, GM porn is engineered to grow a deadly toxin inside of it each year or each and every grain of corn. This deadly toxin is then consumed by all the people who knowingly eat genetically engineered crops via breakfast cereals, corn tortillas, corn snacks, chips, etc. This mass poisoning of the population is clearly intentional as it deliberately as it is deliberately engineered into the crops which are grown for the sole purpose of human and animal consumption. This mass poisoning is not accidental. In other words, and in <clears throat> and in fact, the technology is promoted under the justification that it will feed the world. Indeed, it will feed the world. Poison. They got a picture of big fat ass obese Edomite looking like um my man that made that movie Bowling for Columbine and shit. I can't remember the name of that director and shit. Got this man total the fuck up, man. Bush 04 and shit. Look at that MSG. Do your research, man. Fluoride Springs. Drinking that fluoridated water and that aspartame cola. 
genetically altered spuds, Prozac, it's fucking antidepressant. You know, it's all a joke, man. But guess what? Your ass is in the middle of that joke. You know? We are the jokeies. They are the jokers. You know, the joke is on the uninformed. Continuing on, food has become a weapon against humanity. As you can see from these examples, food has become a weapon against humanity. It is the new vector for a, uh, for a stealth world war against humankind, a war which is being quietly waged. Salakia, it is the new vector for a stealth world war against humankind, a war which is being quietly waged, a wage right this very moment with weapons you would probably find in your own pantry. World War I was fought primarily in the trenches with soldiers slinging, chunk, uh, slinging chunks of lead at each other. And, you know... <laughs> That's a straight up weapon of, of destruction. It's like it has the killing abilities of a sword to slice through you. Right? And they're making this comparison out to the to the chemicals that we eat, man. That's heavy, man. With soldiers slinging chunks of lead at each other and using crude chemical weapons like mustard gas. World War II was fought with a genocidal intention using more advanced kinetic weapons and chemical weapons engineered by pharmaceutical companies. Damn. Let's read that again. World War II was fought with a genocidal intention using more advanced kinetic weapons and chemical weapons engineered by pharmaceutical companies. But they were getting their breath in. So in times of peace, how do you think these pharmaceutical companies make up for the money that they're missing out on in times of war? They poison the people, man. All right, it says, Hour of World War II and the Nazi era came I.G. Farben, a chemical pharma conglomerate, which was later split into three companies, one of which is now known as Bayer, and some company, and uh, the same company that makes children's aspirin and various chemicals used throughout the food supply check your and check your history this is uh factual and true or this is factual and true and it very it very much so is so i don't give my children you know those type of things give them natural things i mean as natural as, as can be what's there is it's, it's going to be better than you know giving them these chewable tablets and all this bullshit and this random substance World War Three appears to already be underway, and it is being waged as a stealth war via the food supply. The chemicals are very similar to those used in World War One and World War Two, except that instead of being deployed on a battlefield, today's chemical weapons are deployed via food supply, and often even list, uh, and often even listen right on ingredient labels. I mean, and they put it right there in your face. I know it's probably supposed to say listed. Um, toxic ingredients like sodium nitrate and aspartame are formulated to work at sub-acute levels so they don't cause people to drop dead right away. Instead, they cause the chronic long-term degenerative collapse of body and mind, leaving behind a wake of global cancer, kidney failure and extreme mental disorders including psychosis this damage to body and mind in turn destroys economics education systems scientific advancement free demo, uh, democracies and even cultural integrity right and the cultural integrity that our people have is all fucked up they rather grasp on to being an African American and Wakandan Hip hop, uh, 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 just a pure base Indian, 
So whether you be Arrow Octiano or Rubenite, uh, uh, Seminal, you know, everybody want to hold on that so hard instead of coming back to their true inheritance, man. You know, and that has a lot to do with some of these chemicals that we've been eating to make it harder to comprehend what's going on around us. Uh, it's a good article. I'm going to read just a little bit more. I'm not going to read the other part at the very bottom. It says, The Silent Fool Bombing of Humanity. What the United States Air, F Air Force did uh, to Dresden in World War II via high elevation bombing runs. The global chemical and food conglomerate are now doing the world population via the drive through window. God damn. But there are no bombs dropping out of the sky and there are no firestorms lighting up the cityscape at night. Instead, the silent, ignorant masses are simply marched to their deaths one meal at a time, almost like a, a cargo train full of useless eaters, which is coined by the Rothschilds. I forgot which one in particular, but the Rothschilds, um, useless eaters, uh, click, uh, clicking and clacking their way to Auschwitz. All right, it shows you all of that shit was planned anyway, man. Just to get this whole, you know, just the comparison with the food system and the war, it just shows you that all of these are different implemented devices that they set forth. All right, which is all by the hand of Yahweh by Shimmy outside in the first place. So, you know, I don't think it's because they're so cold or they're so crafty or some bullshit. You know, it's all conducted by the hands of the Most High. He's the one who has issued these things. This is Isaiah 45 and 1. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh by Shimei Shai, do all these things. So this is the Lord really doing this thing. Alright? He's the one that made the evil motherfuckers and what are they going to do? They're going to do some evil shit. Because that is what they were created to do. You, if any creation tries to function outside of this original creation uh, purpose for being created, then it's a, it's always going to be in a state of derision because it never truly realizes its potential and purpose. You know. Um. This is Isaiah thirty-two and seven. The instrument also of the churl are evil. Well, no, you can start at six. The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the ch uh, nor the churl said to be bountiful, which is foolish. All right, our miser. <laughs> For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. And to uh and to utter error against Yahweh Shai to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Right, and one of those things that he the drinks that he caused to fail was these scriptures, which is living water, by covering up the knowledge and the truth of it. All right, it doesn't have to just be physical waters, you know. This was our life source, our lifeline. Can't live without water. So we've been dead for in a dead state for so long because they kept us separated from this living water. And now we're getting rehydrated. Those will be hopefully late. The instruments also of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speak is right. All right, and we need it. We're needy. The, the men of the Lord out here, these different cats that are, are coming up against this, we're needy, you know? Like I said, even when the needy speak is right. And we're speaking right with these scriptures, man. Not by our own vain opinion. Not even just by facts. This is the greatest fact. The fact that the Lord is, is put forth just to expose these things single-handedly, but the liberal, the but the liberal divides the liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand. 
generous or noble is what the liberal means. Um, I could go to the next one, but I'm not even going to take it to him. Well, fuck it. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vengeance shall fall, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. So this hell, I mean, it's hard enough for a man in this place right now, but a woman has more power since the access of this world has been turned upside down. It's power, everything. And a woman has been placed above a man in this society. And being placed above him, they were given this certain power and authority. And with that authority, as you see, a woman is not supposed to be in a leadership role. Especially not to usurp authority over a man. And being placed in that role, they got careless. That's why their bodies look the way it does. You know what I'm saying? They bald-headed. You know, especially our women underneath these curses. But for the most part, you careless right now. You the most comfortable ones. If times is hard, they're going to be even harder for a man. How much more for a woman, which is the weaker vessel, you know? Not being able to keep your box clean, you know, your vagina. You know, that's, a, that's hell in itself. Let alone those that are dependent on these perms and jerry curls and shit. Yeah, shit gonna dry up and fall out of that thing. Yeah, you think you bald headed now, you really gonna be bald headed then. Because you can't let this chemical warfare go. It says on the way of their own deaths, of course, they pay the mandatory tolls to the pharmaceutical giants, hospitals, cancer, clinics, doctors, and health insurance mandates. Much like victims of Nazi genocide have their gold fillings pulled out of their mouths before they were gassed to death. Now, that's a bunch of bullshit anyway, because they weren't fucking gassed to death. That's another lesson. Today's mainstream consumers are empty of their bank accounts, assets, and insurance policies before they before finally being discarded by the system. And who are the main ones filling that? The bread of that. It is the people of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, so called Native American Latinos and Negroes. There are tremendous profits to be made. You see, well, first poisoning the masses and then treating them for the side effects of that poisoning, right? Because they treat that poison with another poison. This racket is so massive and so deeply embedded into our greed-driven culture. That's not our culture. That's the culture of the so-called white man. Uh, but you niggas adopted that shit on, you know, by becoming one with this society. They very few people, even uh, that um, that very few people even recognize is happening to them. But make no mistake, but make no mistake, you are not valued by the system for your humanity, your spirit, your innovation, or your imagination. You are only valued for your tax bases, or by your, for your tax base at first. And then ultimately, your disease management profits, which eventually, uh, which enrich global corporations while you are poked, prodded, dosed, uh, irradiated, and drugged to death. Damn, man. While the hospitals rack up. Page after page after page of medical procedures, billing, codes, which will uh, which will be covered in Medicare or Obamacare. Right, they even have a medical bill and coding. They got a, a, a college course for that type of shit, man. That's how deep that is. Anyway, man, look, that's the basis of just, it's just how wicked this place is, man. When you stop to think about it, man, it's a it's a bad taste, literally. 
Trump mills. They already passing those out. As if this shit wasn't already fucked up. They they make forcing those that are on food stamps to eat those bullshit meals. And yes, I am a vet by medical discharge. Only getting paid ten percent. And yes, my wife does receive benefits. And what the, the what your Uncle Esau threw Section Eight at me. You know, gave me my Section Eight for being in the military. All right, so for you be like, oh, all these motherfuckers that's on there ain't shit. You know, no. Nah. I don't. But my 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 belief is in y'all by Shem Yah Shah and his power and having faith in that that he's gonna guide me and make a way for me and my family in that day, even as he has now. But yes, those will be taken away, and I know it's coming, and I don't give a fuck. Let that time come. Yah Bashim Yah Shah be our savior and our hand and our shepherd, you know, and, and guide us in that day, even this day, you know. That's not something that I fall back on, but we do receive those things. And I do receive, you know, um, what is that? I do receive my benefits from the state as well, you know, because my shit is fucked up, you know, which is some dumb shit, that's what I get, but in the end, that was all the most highest plan, so with that, you know, there's pretty much nothing we can do but have faith in the Lord and attempt to cleanse ourselves often, <coughs> even though we keep consuming chemicals and shit, we have no choice, but you know, we have a choice in the fact that you can eat more fruits and vegetables, even though they treat it with all kind of fucked up ass chemicals and shit, you know. It's different, um, different, different things that we can do. You know, cleaning them off with with um, a little bit of water and um, what is that? A little bit of water and charcoal. Um, to help you clean off your fruits and vegetables and help get a lot of those pesticides off that they treated it with. Make sure it's not GMO to the best of your ability. You know, we still in our captivity and we rehearsing the righteous acts. So. It's, it's hard, you know. It's not really any way around it, but you can still do better by fasting and eating, um, you know, so-called healthy foods. All right. And with that, you know, I just like to give all praises and highest honors to y'all by Shem Yah Shai. I'd like to give all praises and highest honors to y'all by Shem Yah Shai. Y'all by Shem Yah Shai. Uh, y'all by Shem Yah Shai by Shem Rakak Fadash. Um, uh, coming at you again. Um, looking forward to the next time. We just give you all praises and highest honors. Um, you know, watch what you consume physically, mentally, and spiritually. Shalom.